Below this time, we will use the material's world position offset to make the mesh move. First, create a material. Create a rotate about axis node. With this node, you can set the rotation axis and rotation degree. First, let's create the axis of rotation. After creating an object orientation node that can know the orientation value of an object and a rotate vector that can rotate, connect them together. Next, hold down keyboard three and click the left mouse button to create a constant three vector node. After setting the red value to 1 so that the rotation axis is based on the x-axis, connect it to the rotate vector node. Then connect the rotate vector node to the rotate about axis node to create the axis of rotation for the material. Since the value of red has become 1, the x-axis has become the center. Next, create an object pivot point node and connect it to the rotate about axis node. Next, create an absolute world position node and connect it to the rotate about axis node. Next, if you create a time node that can receive a time value and connect the nodes as shown in the video, you can see the material rotates based on the x-axis that you set before. Create a tangent node to slightly adjust the rotation and set the period to around 15 and connect it to the time node. Then you can see the rotation according to a specific pattern. Next, let's add up and down motion. Create a multiply node. Then, create a vertex normal node to get the position of the materials normal. Just like when we set up the axis before, we need to set the blue color to move in the Z direction. So, create a constant three vector node, set the value of B to one and multiply it with the vertex normal node to extract the Z direction. Next, create two multiply nodes. One set the value to around 150. This set the range of the height that moves up and down and the other multiplies it with the vertex normal node down, and the other multiplies it with the vertex normal node. Next, create two add nodes. Using an add node, combine the rotation nodes set and up and down nodes set created earlier. Next, use the sine node and set the period to around eight to make the up and down movement. The C node has a number between minus one and one and to prevent the mesh from going down the floor. So we make the minimum value zero by using the remaining add node. Finally, set the time value on the sine node, connect the sine node to the multiply node so that it can move up and down. The function of moving the material has been completed. Metallic and roughness can be set with constant nodes. Save and return to the content drawer. Create a material instance. Set a plane from the place actor in the level and size it appropriately. And apply the material instance to the plane. Because the backside is not visible, click material again and check two sided. Now, if you change the color of the vector in instance, the plane's axis of rotation changes in various ways, resulting in a different direction of rotation.